Welcome viewers, you're watching the Mortgage Busters Show and we're all about paying your mortgage off in record time so that you can get the title of your property in your hands and not in the banks. It's a wonderful feeling to hold your own title and put it somewhere safe where you know it is and yours and nobody else's. My name's Greg. I'm Adrian. And we bring you the Mortgage Busters Show. Now, viewers, if you watch any of our episodes you should be watching today, because we're gonna be making a very special announcement. It's gonna be called, or it is called, our Thousand Day Mortgage Busters Special. So you'll find a lot more about that later on, but right now I'd like to introduce our first guest, who is Chris Bonden from Budget Works. Welcome back, Chris. Thanks, Adrian. Greg? Good to have you on the show. <laughs> it's great to be back here and talk about this fantastic challenge that we've put together. Fantastic, I'm so excited about that. But first, I'd like to let the viewers know that your claim to fame is that you paid your mortgage off in 973 days. <laughs> That's right. It's, it's a world <laughs> record, I believe, and uh, people say it's it's unrealistic, but it, it actually is true. It's true. It is. You've got records of it. You did absolutely, it. Absolutely. Why would you track up something I like that? I tracked it by the day over right. the uh, period I had my mortgage, or pre my mortgage, I tracked my money on a daily basis. And when I had my mortgage, I went down actual a one level further to make sure that the banks were actually uh, not ripping me off when it came to the interest that they were charging me. So I actually were there errors there? Oh, within always within eighty cents or thereabouts. So very very minimal. Yeah, balanced out towards the end of the month anyway. So it all come down to making sure I was in control, not the bank. Oh, so let me ask the question then: How did you do it? Okay. Like, was it? Yep. Well, what, right. well, what made you do it in the first place? Yeah. Again, always making sure that I was in control, not someone else of my money. So that's how you live life? Absolutely. Right. I always want to know what's going to go ahead in terms of what I want to do in life, right. setting myself a goal, and then being in control of that goal myself. So but but the, the, can I go back, dig a little bit deeper? Most people don't keep goals. They, they think they do. They've got a goal in their head somewhere, but very few people actually take pen to paper and say, this is my goal for this year. Yeah. Why is it that you are that way inclined? I don't like wasting any time, Greg. Right. So for, for me, it was all about, if I wanted to buy a house, I knew I had to buy it in 10 years' time. So at the age of 15, I went, okay, I need to buy something, let's put something so inside. So you decided this at 15? Yeah. Well, what, about what, what, what about your parents? What about your parents? What what Did they do anything to make you? Oh, they knew I was a bit different. You, I was always putting but everything. But did they do something? No, so no, you, I was, I was, no? I said, I'm a bit different. So I just put everything I uh, had out earned or allocated aside and, and used I was going to have to buy a car when I was 18. So again, put money aside for the car, start working, and then that will obviously accelerate the process of me being able to, to purchase the car. Then when I knew I had to buy a bigger asset and I was going through my uni days and got a full-time job, I was going to earn more money. So how was I going to manage that to be able to buy my, my house, for example, in this situation? See, when I was at uni, I spent half of my money in the cafe looking at girls you yeah know? And, and, and many many people do and, and, and you still can do that yeah, there's yeah. no there's no re we're not saying here to people you know don't go and buy coffee every day but yes you can buy coffee but you also need to look at what else you're spending your money on there are bigger things that people um, allocate their funds to and, and not know how much money it actually costs all right so sorry i'll cut you off keep going how did you do it yeah so what, so what i did every morning when i when i uh when i woke up i actually logged on to internet banking Plugged every day every day for 973 days, and, wow. I still, and I still do. Um, what I did, I actually looked at my bank balance in terms of my offset account at the time, and I actually put that into my uh, spreadsheet. So I built a little spreadsheet that said, put my offset balance that day, for the previous day, put my mortgage balance for the previous day, and I built some basic formulas that said, what should my interest be that the bank should charge me based on the interest rate that the banks are charging me yesterday. So, what, look, I've got a question. Why, was there any reason it was an offset account and not a line of credit? No, obviously an offset account for me was all about having access to cash and the need, I needed something to be able to purchase whatever I needed and, and luckily for me, I didn't need anything for it. But So at one stage I had, you know, six figures of, of cash sitting in an offset account, but I didn't need it. And at the end of the day I had that and obviously the loan account and then bang, between the two it, it paid itself off. So yes, my mortgages were obviously it was a lot bigger, but my offset account was just growing full of cash, offsetting the interest, therefore I was paying less interest over the duration of the loan I had for 973 days, Greg. Wow. So what I did end of the month to go back is I actually reconciled how much interest per day I was being charged, calculated that, and then I looked at the day the banks charged me interest, because the banks charge you interest uh, monthly, and then I worked out what the difference was, and it was usually... So they, they calculate it daily, yep. but charge it monthly. Correct. Right. So if, if you're not 
in the front foot doing things daily or tracking the data daily, then it's going to be difficult to work back unless you work back with the prehistorical data. Right. But I want to know today, not in 12 months' time, what my interest is yeah, being charged. Yeah. So if I was always going to get ripped off by other banks, I was always going to be on the front foot 24 hours later. Did you have any issues with the bank along not the way? Not at all. No, everything was fine. But again, I knew that everything was, uh, was okay right. um, with regards right. to the money being um, charged to me on an interest basis. But then it allowed me to forecast out when was I going to be able to pay my mortgage off. Right. Um, and then setting, the, you setting yourself long goals, you get there a lot quicker. So I wanted to pay my house off in you know, five years and I got there in just under three. It's hard yakka. Sure. I'm glad you do that stuff. <laughs> and and, and the, other, for people. the other biggest thing for me as well was, was <laughs> not having Foxtel. Obviously, I moved into a brand new house that we built and I told myself, I'm not going to get Foxtel until I pay my house off. Right, so that, so right. that drove That's me. That's a good and incentive. Until you pay your house off. Correct. So <laughs> I love my footy and, and obviously <laughs> footy was on Foxtel. So I sacrificed every single weekend. I went to my parents' house. I went to the, uh, to the bar and just you know, took a bottle of water and, wow. and watched the footy there. Wow. It didn't cost me anything, but I watched the footy. But then it allowed me to have that goal in my mind to go, okay, when Foxtel comes in, that means my house is paid off. I've rewarded myself. Right, right. That's Little great. That's, like that's that. fantastic. So you actually set a target of five years, but you did it in less than three. Correct. 973 days. Yep. I forego the holiday. And, and yep. that now has pretty much developed into what you do as a career. Absolutely. So it's all about money management. I love doing it. I love helping people, educating, coaching people. Because as we know, we're not taught this at school and, and some people like me are just be different where we take a different route and, and, we, and we go and help others um, mm. live mm. the dreams that we, we love doing. Short time, three years, that's ridiculous. Yeah. But no, you got to prepare no, for it. Not everyone's going to do it in three years, Adrian. But, yeah, but again, even if they did it in five years, absolutely. they don't do it in it, 25 years. It is, achieve years, it is achievable. People. I'll put my hand up and say it is achievable, but you got to prepare you know, much earlier. So in your teenage years, if, if you've got um, children at home, you can actually teach your kids to start doing things now rather than when they're 28, 30 years old. Wow, wow. What a great story. Look, we've got to go to a break, but uh, when we come back from the break, I'd still like to interrogate what you did a little bit further because it's just such an interesting story. And the thing is, you can make that claim to that fame. Yes. So you are helping people along the way now to do it in a similar fashion. Absolutely, Greg. What a great job, great job. Fantastic. Uh, well, stay with Mortgage Busters and you'll find out how you can pay your loan off in three years or less. Viewers, you're watching the Mortgage Busters show. Don't touch that dial. You'll find out very shortly how you can pay off your mortgage in record time. Chris, you did it in 973 days. That's right, Greg. That's really, I'm so impressed with that. It's stuck in my mind. Yeah. It's, a, it's a definitely a challenge that people need to set themselves. Um, for me, it was about paying my mortgage off quicker. Right. I busted my mortgage, agree. You busted it. You really <laughs> you blew it apart. <laughs> so it all came down to me. At a, at how? How? What, what did you do differently? You set goals? Yep. Yeah. And taking control, uh, Greg. So if we come down to me going, staying in control of my money and being able to set my own path, my own pathway to, uh, uh, towards um, getting my house paid off in the instance. And I think that's the difference is most people, they see the loan being a mortgage of say, I don't know, three, four, five hundred thousand dollars over a 30 year period as something that's just uncontrollable. Undoable. And they just don't <laughs> want to look at it. They just want to go to work, come home, put their feet up, relax and watch the Mortgage Buster show. Correct. <laughs> That's right. But but with this challenge, the challenge they can yes. get rid of a big chunk. It doesn't have to be their whole Absolutely. mortgage, it, but a big chunk at least. Absolutely. And do so, something. Of yeah, course. Correct. So Adrian, what it come down to, if it's a $400,000 mortgage, if you think it's too hard and you think you're only getting through you know, 50% of the, uh, the interest and the payments are taking the other half only, and it's going to take you 30 years, then do something about it. Don't, don't Put just some focus on Absolutely. It. Don't just sit there and let it happen over the next 30 years because you can complain for 30 years and no one's <laughs> going to do anything about it no, unless no, you do course. something. Of course. So it's, it's like that thing, you know, when you, you want to buy a new car, for instance, and you, you're thinking about, a, I don't know, a Ford or a Holden or something in a particular model. Absolutely. And then yeah. all of a sudden you start seeing that model everywhere. Yes. That, I'm pretty sure that's called your reticular activating system. Yeah, write it down, write it down. It's your reticular <laughs> activating system. And it's in the back of your brain somewhere and it, it automatically picks out what you're interested in or focusing on in the back of your mind. And I think that played a big part for you is Correct. that you focused on your mortgage. You brought it, you brought it into, the, into the light, in, square into your vision, and you focused and concentrated on it and gave your reticular activating system <laughs> full control of it. Yep. And you yep. knocked it over in exactly. that time. Because I, I did it daily. I tracked everything daily. Yeah. I didn't forget about it the next two days. If I didn't do anything for two days, I felt bad about it and I didn't. I lost control. 
So um, did you did you enjoy it? The process? Absolutely. I was on. What about the wife though? I was, so one, I was the one controlling it. No, no, nothing, nothing wrong. The wife was obviously happy. She She'd was be excited. Happy. She'd be very happy. Um, yeah, well, maybe for the 973 days she wasn't happy. No, but, that's what I was saying. Uh, but, but again, at 974 she got a foxtail. <laughs> 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 but it's always the reward. The rewards are a lot. If you can sacrifice for less than three years to pay your mortgage off, how would you feel if that was uh, your case? Sensational. Or a big chunk. Absolutely. Correct. So you can rep the rewards for 27 more years. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and you can live the life. And then do it again. Buy an investment property or whatever. Do it again, again, again. I mean, Correct. it's like changing an engine in a car. If you do it yourself, you do it once. And it, yes, it's a pain and it's a learning curve, but then you've learned that process. You might as well do it again <laughs> you know, to some other car. All right, well, viewers, we have a challenge for you. Pay attention to this. The, mo the thousand day mortgage busters challenge. That's what we're offering you. The challenge of a lifetime. The challenge to take control of your mortgage and pay it off in record time. Or a big now, chunk. How's or a that? big chunk. Yeah, a big or a big chunk. chunk. Uh, well, no, no, pay it off in record time, just like Chris did. 973 days. We're saying a thousand day challenge and see what we can do, see if we can get you there in record time with the help of Chris. Chris is standing behind this challenge. All of us are standing behind this challenge. So much so that for the first hundred people that register and get going with this challenge and all it can do is do you good we'll give you a thousand dollars to pay directly off your mortgage each and every one of the hundred that first hundred that register will receive that not only that each and every one of the first hundred that, that register will also go into the draw for a, a grand prize of three thousand dollars so in, in in the final analysis some one person one lucky person is going to get a $4,000 payment directly off their mortgage just by taking on the challenge, which is going to pay their mortgage off in record time. What a fantastic offer. Yeah, great initiative. Now, if people want to take control and move forward um, All they've and got get to there do. quicker, is, uh, is contact the show and, and make them put their hand up and go, I want to take this challenge on. Absolutely. Like many people at the start of each year, they'll set themselves a New Year's resolution. Yes, yes, yes. We're giving them a thousand day resolution and we're gonna actually hold their hand all the way through it to ensure they do a big dent to their mortgage. Absolutely, and what better hands to hold than someone that's done it in 973 days. Fantastic. Crazy. <laughs> all right, now, Adrian. So what about first home buyers? What can we do for them? Because you can't bust a mortgage unless you've got one. That's right, Adrian. So what <laughs> we're gonna do is actually, we're gonna actually sit with those, um, whether you're living at home with mum and dad or you're living in a, a rental property, you can actually take the challenge on by actually saving up, um, using that thousand day challenge to actually save up to be able to purchase a home. Whether it's a new home or an established home, we want people to start saving and get a mortgage and um, take control of it. It's only good stuff, isn't it? Save and pay off. Correct. Sensational. Well, they can set and forget this savings, can't they? Because you do all the, you pay all the, yeah, the, the it's bills. It's, and the it's fully managed. So for us, it's all about you know, understanding the, what their income is and their expenses. And, and trimming down some expenses that may not be necessary. We're not saying, you know, don't go without food and, and live on the street for the next thousand days. We're just looking at ways we can actually coach and mentor uh, people through this challenge, whether it's finding more ways of increasing their income or looking at ways of you know, reducing their expenses, yeah, being realistic about it too. Are you, just quickly, uh, are you offering also, I think, a, a 12 week um, for the first home buyers, for the savings. Yeah, correct. Whether you're a first home buyer or already have a mortgage, we've also got a, a financial education boot camp program, which runs over 12 weeks now. And that's no cost. Correct. So yeah. that's no cost. All you need to do is contact um, Budgeting Works or, or the show, and there's a link on, on the website about how you can actually register uh, for the 12 week financial education boot camp program. What it is. Which is you'll put that together yourself. Yeah, correct. Yeah. So what I've done is I've, I've spent some time in my own personal time and, and put together a 12 week program with regards to. You know, what is electricity bill? Um, how to read it? How to save money on your bill? What is private health insurance? What's taxation? How to save up for your first All the boring time. stuff. Yeah, correct. <laughs> Everybody and and what, is, what is basic terminology in the financial industry? Like, you know, what is a mortgage? And, and what is, yeah, a, what yeah, is a variable yeah. rate? And, and that. All right, so just by looking at something and analyzing it, you can save money. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Chris, it's been an absolute pleasure to have you on the show. Ladies and gentlemen, anyone watching the show, take advantage of our offer thousand day mortgage busters challenge go to our website register your interest don't forget the first hundred 
will get that thousand dollar paid off their mortgage if they start the program and secondly one lucky person will get three thousand we'll go through it again a bit later on with steve hudson who will be basically coming on after this break so chris thanks again thanks for coming we'll here. see you after the break you'll find out more about our thousand day mortgage busters challenge welcome back to the mortgage busters show and we have oh Guru time. Our guru <laughs> time, our guru master, our guru finance expert, Steve, Steve Hudson. Hudson. Steve, welcome back to the show. Thanks, Adrian, Greg. It's great to be here. What an exciting time it is. Oh, yeah. What an exciting show. With exciting, our wow. Thousand Day Mortgage Busters Challenge, Challenge. Steve. That is a hundred grand on the table for more than a hundred. And more. Grand. And for one lucky person, extra three. A hundred grand on the table for a hundred people who first come in and and take up the challenge and start the challenge. It's brilliant, it's brilliant. It's well sensational. done guys, I well mean, done. what a great well concept. Um, you were very instrumental in putting that together for us, so please yes, explain, thank you. Steve. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Well, after what Chris has explained, uh, he will set up a comfort challenge for you. So, you, well, it'll be, it'll be stretched, but what a number that you can actually pay off. Let's say it's a hundred grand in, in the thousand, day so that's a thousand dollars a day isn't it so if i say to you wow can you chunk this out for us uh, we could chunk you know what i'm out. talking about yeah <laughs> so, so, chunking we will go Please chunk. <laughs> okay so uh, what we do when we're chunking we look at a, a different structure on on a, a loan so if someone has bought a house for say four hundred thousand dollars and what's k for greg a thousand a thousand thousand Good, man so we put 20 percent deposit down We've got a loan of 320. Math is correct. So what we will do with Chris, Chris will stand over here and work with you to find out how much you can pay off stretched, but realistically smart goals of that 320 in, in the challenge period. And let's say for the sake of a number, it's 20 grand a year and it's 60K. So what we, what we say for that challenge, we're going to put that into a different loan in total, that's 60K. We're going to have that as variable and you're going to have the offset account so you can manage your money to pay that, that $60,000 off. The other 260, we're going to put into a interest only account or loan. So the, in, the, the, the principal that you would have been paying off that 260 is actually going to be channel to that $60,000 challenge. So you take that 260 and put it aside out of the way. That's right. You're still going to make payments and pay uh, interest? Minimum, minimum so, payment. So your options there obviously is still variable or fixed. Now let me say this, there is some brilliant five years fixed rates around at the moment. In the history of some of the banks, it's the lowest five year rate ever that they've ever put on the table. So, so this is the perfect time to perfect be doing Perfect time this. to be doing this, absolutely. The, the beauty of it is that your challenge, now that you could have a one in front of that, so it could be 160 and this number could be different, but for the sake of the purpose of this exercise, to demonstrate how it works. In three years time, you've paid off $60,000. You've got a mortgage left of 260, correct? Correct. Now we knew that we bought this house for 400, what, what are houses going up by roughly per, per annum at the moment? Around about 10%. 10%? Yeah. Deal. All right. Let's work on an average you know, conservative number of 5%. So that's 20K per year it's going up. K for thousands. Is mm -hmm. that right, Greg? Yeah, absolutely. So we've now got a house that's worth four, sorry, 460. Correct. We have now got $200,000 worth of equity here in that house. We can go back to the crunching and do it all over again and keep going till we're down to zero. Hopefully that you're pretty well on target paying a majority of that. But Chris will work that number out for you. It, in, in fact, it could be paid off altogether in that time. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. So it really depends on what you're comfortable with. Absolutely. The client's comfortable with. Okay. Correct. So what that does is allow a person who's in the, in the challenge to then sometime during that period when we've got the equity is now start talking about wealth creation. Yes. And creating yes. the opportunity to buy another property 
and you could apply the same principles. Accountants would hate it, but uh, Chris is a CPA, so. But we're we're we're, <laughs> we're, the we're we're setting people up to invest in their future through the challenge as well. So get that mortgage paid off on your own principal place of, of residence, your own home, and then your investments that can be structured accordingly to your, your taxation regime. And you do that with your accountant. Okay, we're we're not we don't give advice mm. on that. Okay, so Correct. but the equity is a fact. Working on these numbers here that you would end up in this scenario, $200,000 equity, and then we can start going down that track. Just reminding viewers the way that we set this offset account up is that you know, interest rates are charged daily, okay? So if you've got a $100,000 loan and you've got 10,000 sitting in the offset account, you are now 90 Ks charging in interest on. So you're saving a lot, a lot of money by having that offset account. Very powerful. Very powerful. Very powerful. And, and, one of, and that $1,000, Greg, going into your account underneath the challenge is equivalent to 2000 because over 30 years, on an approximately 5% interest rate, mm, mm. You've, been, you've been charged $1,000 worth of interest. Yeah, correct. So, so the 1000 really effectively is a $2,000 saving. Absolutely. The person that actually gets the 4,000, the lucky person <laughs> that gets the extra three, that's effectively an $8,000 saving over it the is. course of a loan. It well, well spotted. Well, <laughs> so am I right? You are, you're check, right. Check my math. You, you can you add. Check your math. <laughs> well, you can add. <laughs> one times four is four, plus another four is eight. So eight. yeah, you're right. right. Absolutely. Yeah, very, so, very powerful. So coming back to the 1,000 day mortgage busters challenge, the first 100 people that register and start the program that's, that we're setting out here will have $1,000 paid off their mortgage. Correct. And one, one lucky person. One lucky person's going to get $3,000 additional paid On off. On top their of mortgage. that. Fantastic. It's brilliant, isn't it? Or, viewers, you can continue to keep doing the same thing and pay your mortgage off over a period of whatever it is 20 years, 30 years, 15 years, wherever you are now. But if you're not happy with that, if you want to get things moving along, if you want to get a little bit of help paying off your mortgage with the being one of the first hundred to register, that extra thousand or possibly extra four thousand all up if you're that lucky person, please go to our website, which is the dubs. TMBshow.com.au. TMBshow.com.au. Register your interest. You'll get be contacted by us. You'll be you'll be You'll meet Chris Bondon, who was on earlier in the show, and he'll will all help you along the way to pay it off in record time. Not only will you do that, but as Steve just explained, you'll also have the opportunity, if that is your desire, to start building some wealth around you as well. So you can go into retirement and live your life comfortably instead of in poverty. How does that sound, Steve? Sounds brilliant. Fantastic. What a great program. Well. Another it's a one. shame we got there, another <laughs> show tucked away, but what a show, ladies and gentlemen. I, you know, I feel like I've got to say it once more because I love the sound of it. <laughs> the Mortgage Busters 1,000 Day Mortgage Busters Challenge. Be a part of it and get on the map with your money and finances. Work out where you're going. As Chris said, set some goals, focus on it. Get that reticular activating system <laughs> working, <laughs> chugging away to get you where you want to go. Uh, thanks for watching. That. Steve, thanks again. Thank Adrian, thanks Thank again. You. We'll see you again next time or next week, same time, same place. Have a great week.